My name is Zerumba Jonathan, the Vice President of DIY Club Mount St. Henry's High School, Mukono, and I'm here to talk about what we have made in our project which concerns sanitation. So, we have helped the school by collecting papers and recycling them. Leave alone that we're going to make dustbins out of the papers that we have recycled. So, this is our first dustbin. It has been made using paper mash pulp method. So, we got papers and soaked them in water and we made them in we made them turn into a thick paste. After that, we added cassava flour, cooked, and we mixed it until it got the right consistency. And we applied on our mold, which is a big green bucket. So this method does not involve any wire mesh, so you should not be worried about anything cutting you or whatsoever. And it's actually safe and easy to afford. So the next one, next one we have used cement and wire mesh plus a mold. So firstly what we did, we got our mold and placed it onto this cardboard. Then we wrapped wire mesh around it forming that shape. Then we enforced that shape and put on it cement. And we made sure that the cement is on both sides of the wire mesh to make it thick and last longer. So this dustbin can be put outdoors when it dries. It can be put outdoors for outside use. It's water resistant, but then again, it's not always nice to put in it water because it will smell due to that fermentation which will take place. So this method is a bit dangerous. The wire mesh can catch you if you're not careful and you should apply the cement even. So the next method, it's again paper mash pulp. Only that this time there is wire mesh inside and there's completely no more. We got the wire mesh and we shaped it and we made something called an amateur. Well, we're going to apply the papers. So we also mixed our papers in cassava flour cooked, just like we did in the other first one. And then we put food color of green and we mixed it till it got that right color and consistency. Then we started applying it to the amateur. Then we shaped it properly and set it and let, let it to settle and dry. So this method is also a bit dangerous while applying that paper mesh pulp because the wire mesh can cut you or pierce you if not careful. So these two methods should be handled with care because they are a bit dangerous. But this one is the easiest and least cost one. So if you like to do one which is easy and quick, you can do the first one. But if you want one which is more durable, so is this one. If you want one which can last long and it's weather resistant, you can do this one. But it's a bit costly, so the best one I recommend is this one. Because it's durable, not so costly, and a bit safe. Thank you.